here we are with Edge Runner episode 2. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. Let's go. <clears throat> he gets pumped. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. All right. God damn. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, he got chipped. Ah. Oh, that must be painful as fuck. Getting your com your whole back cut open and then that thing gets put in. But yeah, the Ripper dog sees his profit in it, right? He puts it in, and if it's too much for him to handle and he comes back, then he just takes it out and it's his, basically. <clears throat> Okay, will be interesting to see how it goes because he said he probably can't handle it, but I mean, I guess he probably can, right? Because he's a main character. Oh, he's breaking apart. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's see what's gonna happen now, right? Oh, school? Yes. Oh, he's getting revenge. <laughs> He wants his revenge. <clears throat> Going for a test drive. <laughs> Slow mo for him. Dude, that must be so crazy. <laughs> His back, man. Wow. He's a speedy boy. <laughs> so I wonder if that's like a slowdown effect for him or if he just speeds up.
<laughs> Give me the fact. It's great. Oh. <clears throat> Okay, so they might see it as a chance. <laughs> I guess the father is not really liking his son that much, I guess. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. And I wonder how that feels. In your back. So is this some... <clears throat> Arasaka tech he has in his back now. And maybe they do. Maybe they're looking for like a good candidate to use it on. To see its potential maybe. The first guy didn't really fit well with it. But David here is. And yeah, I got the name wrong in the first episode and he got Gets still pumped. <laughs> uh, I said Mio was his name, but no, Mio is his mother. He's David. And there's a girl again. Is she from Arasaka, maybe? Hmm. I mean, she doesn't really look the part, right? Hmm. <clears throat> She's taking chips from people. Hello. Oh. <laughs> So is she like a Robin Hood type? She steals only from the corpos? <clears throat> I mean, depending on... How much that is, it could be still good. Lucy. All right. I mean, he is fast. He can probably steal very easily, right? And she said Thunder Vista. We heard that before. Oh, she ejects them and he just moves really quick and collects them. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Don't they realize of something if a chip in their neck gets ejected? Oh, King Kong. <laughs> I would say they should realize if something gets ejected from their slot, right? <clears throat> Interesting that they don't realize it. Oh, he's, he uses power too much. <laughs> but yeah, she said Thunder Vista, which we heard, I think, last episode, right? Is that the implant he has in his back? I know nothing about him. <laughs> Man, I like her design. She looks really cool. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she gives me a bit of zero two vibes. From Darling in the Franks. Especially with the red eye makeup. <laughs> and he vomited. Yeah, she seems very carefree, right? Hmm. I'm very confused because there's so much stuff thrown around which we don't know much about I guess which is pretty much why I have to rewatch this episode too I guess So yeah, this implant seems very risky. I wonder why they have it. Why have they why do they have implants that are so dangerous to someone if he uses it? <clears throat> I guess maybe it's a prototype, but how do they get all the information about it if it's a prototype?
I'm not talking about work, dummy. Nice view. Hmm. Yes, I think she also likes the teas. <clears throat> and yeah, she has this weird ice water. Which you, I think, use to dive sometimes in certain situations. I can't remember from the game. Updating the suit. Oh, Edge Runner, here we go. I liked that scene, how she took off the jacket. That looked pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> because of his mom. No, I guess it's not a stream. And this view is nice. <clears throat> Dead ass. Another brain dance. Oh, the moon. Dang. Oh, is this one song from the game in the background now? Yeah. Man, I had that going a lot when I played the game. This game had some really good music. Oh! <clears throat> I really like animes that have like a, f a male and female main character combination like this. 
It reminds me like at Gleipnir or like Darling in the Franks. Where we have a female and a male main character and they have like a really good dynamic with each other. <laughs> Ooh. Damn, that view. Oh, yeah, we go. Hell, yeah. Nani? Oh. Oh. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, did she play them? She played them? No! Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, uh, let's wrap it up from the beginning. So we saw that he got the chip implemented. The Sandavis, I think they called it. And... Yeah, the first thing he did was beat up the bully from school, right? And very nice. <laughs> and then the next scene was basically that his father got the footage and he didn't really give a fuck about his son. But what is interesting is that the Sandavis, that they noticed the Sandavis, obviously, and that it seems to be a new product because they just said that um, David, David, uh, our main character, seems very tolerant for it because... I guess it's a new product because they want him now to test it on him, I guess, and see prob uh, probably the side effects and all that stuff. So, yeah, it seems like it's something new. But it's also interesting is because apparently many people are after it, right? Like scavengers are after it, Arasaka is after it. So it seems like it's some new product maybe, but that is also known already. Maybe there are like different versions of uh, uh, Sandavis. And this is maybe just like a new prototype or something. <clears throat> and then, yeah, we had the scene in the train where we saw Lucy um, ejecting chips from Corpos, from Arasaka people, because it seems like she picked pockets from them, right? <clears throat> um, which is interesting because, like I said in the episode, I would think that if a chip gets ejected from your neck that... You would feel that or maybe because they all have like these high technology eyes that have like a hut basically that it would like say something like hey chip got ejected or something right so it's interesting that there is like nothing like that <clears throat> and yeah obviously with his speed david um could catch her when she took a chip from his uh from his neck because i guess based on the sand of his prototype he has in his back i guess it had a Arasaka ID, so when she read his ID, it seemed like he's Arasaka. And then, yeah, they grouped up together. <clears throat> and I thought, like, yeah, maybe because she sees the use in the Sandavis, right? Because he's very fast, so that they can work together really good. But yeah, we found out later that she just played him, basically, it seems like. But, anyway, but yeah, we come to that later. Then we had, like, the whole, um, uh... What's the word? Let me check really quick. Um, man, I'm so bad with some words. Uh, with the whole... Uh, no, not this. Jesus Christ. This. Uh, ambulance. Ambulance. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm so dumb. And, but yeah, we had the whole ambulance scene. And it turned out that those also wanted the sand of his on, in his back. But yeah, she kicked herself out with the stretcher and just 
drive down the whole highway <laughs> on it, which was a pretty cool scene. And yeah, then they went to the Ripper Dog and it turned out he needs some medicine. Probably like to... Um, <clears throat> against the negative symptoms, right? That happen from using the Sandivus. And after that they went to Lucy's place and had a good time and did a brain dance, which she never showed to anyone else from what she said, if that's true. And the interesting part is that basically everything she did, having him around and doing all that stuff, was basically, I guess, just to get the Sandivus on his back. Because, yeah, at the end there are these guys that get him out of the brain dance and pretty much say that the that they want the chips the sand of his on his back because it's worth a lot of money or that they want to take it from him and beat him up and I mean Lucy was just sitting there and smoking so I guess she is in on it and she played him but yeah like I said it's it's interesting because <clears throat> it really seems like there is a connection between them two right that they get along and I mean if it's true that she really never took someone into the brain dance like she said, then why would she do that if she wouldn't care for him, right? I mean, she could she could have done something else to to pass some time until her buddies come along, right? So yeah, I guess I mean I guess we pretty much know that the chip that the Sandivus is not getting taken from him because I think that would kill him, right? If they rip it out of his back, and I mean if they would do it, then the main character would be dead in episode three already <laughs> so i guess that won't happen um but yeah i guess we will see next in the next episode what is gonna happen right um but yeah I, I i like i said in the episode i really like the dynamic between lucy and david because i just like animes that have dynamics be between a male uh, main character and a female main character like in darling in the franks or gleipnir or mirai nikki stuff like that I just like animes like that that have like male and female main character and they have a good connection. <clears throat> so I just really like to see that and hope we get more of it. Not that it's just like, oh yeah, we have it in episode 2 and then she is more like a side, a side character. Or maybe we see her like way down the line somewhere again. Um, but yeah, I guess we will see. But overall, like, dope episode. I liked it. It was very interesting. Had lots of good moments, I would say fun moments, action moments, and can't wait to see where it's going from here. And nice visuals too. And yeah, like I said, I really like Lucy's design. With the red eye makeup around her eyes, it really reminds me of like uh, Zero Two from Darling in the Franks 2. And I mean, it's both from Trigger, so that could also play a part in it. <laughs> but yeah, I loved it. Can't wait for episode 3. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching, until next time. Bye-bye.